Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about some very important Android interview questions and answers. It is a first video of our interview preparation series and I will upload videos of multiple beginner to advance level questions in this series. So let's get started. Question 1. What is Android Jetpack and why is it important? Answer. Android Jetpack is a set of libraries and guidance provided by Google to help developers build high-quality Android apps more easily. It comprises various components such as live data, view model, room, navigation, etc. It is important because it simplifies development tasks, encourages best practices, and promotes a consistent app architecture. Please remember that Jetpack is the entire set of libraries and Jetpack Compose is one of its libraries. Question 2. Explain the activity lifecycle in Android. Answer. The activity lifecycle consists of several states like created, started, resumed, paused, stopped, and destroyed. Understanding this lifecycle is crucial for managing app state, handling configuration changes, and optimizing resource usage. For example, on resume is called when an activity is about to start interacting with the user, making it a good place to initialize components that you release during on pause. Here is the image of full life cycle of activity. Question 3. What are the differences between serializable and parcelable? Answer. Serializable and parcelable are both mechanisms to serialize objects in Android, but parcelable is preferred for better performance. Parcelable requires explicit serialization which makes it faster than serializable, especially for large objects or in situations where performance is critical, like passing data between activities or processes. Question 4. What is the view holder pattern in RecyclerView? The view holder pattern is used in RecyclerView to improve performance by caching references to the views in each item of the list. This avoids the overhead of find view bide for each item when scrolling. By recycling views, viewholder pattern minimizes the number of view instances created, resulting in smoother scrolling and better memory efficiency. Question 5. Explain the difference between service, intent service, and job intent service. Answer. Services are used to perform long-running operations in the background. Intent service is a subclass of service that handles asynchronous requests sequentially on a worker thread. Job Intent Service, introduced in Android Oreo, is similar to Intent Service but utilizes Job Scheduler for better compatibility with newer versions of Android and improved power efficiency. Question 6. What is the repository pattern and why would you use it in Android development? Answer. The repository pattern is used to abstract the data layer in an Android app, providing a clean API for data access to the rest of the application. It helps in separating concerns, making the code base more maintainable and testable. By using the repository pattern, you can easily switch between different data sources, like local database and network, without affecting the rest of the application. Question 7. What is the difference between string s is equal to hello and string s1 is equal to new string hello? In the first expression, String s is equal to hello, the string literal hello is used to initialize the string variable s. String literals are stored in the string pool, a special area in the Java heap memory, and reused if another string with the same value is encountered. Therefore, if another variable is initialized with the same string literal, it will reference the same object in the string pool. In the second expression, string s1 is equal to new string hello, a new string object is explicitly created using the new keyword. This creates a new instance of the string class, regardless of whether an identical string already exists in the string pool. This means that even if hello already exists in the string pool, a new object will be created in the heap memory. Question 8. What is ProGuard and how does it work in Android? Answer. ProGuard is a tool used to shrink, optimize, and obfuscate Java bytecode. In Android, ProGuard is often used to reduce the size of APK files and obfuscate code to make reverse engineering more difficult. It helps in improving app performance, reducing memory usage, and protecting intellectual property by making it harder for attackers to understand and modify the code. Question 9. Explain the difference between async task and thread pool executor in Android. Answer. Async task is a class provided by Android for performing background tasks on a separate thread and updating the UI thread. However, it has limitations such as lack of control over execution, potential memory leaks, and poor error handling. 
Threadpool Executor, on the other hand, offers more control over thread management, scheduling, and execution of tasks, making it more suitable for complex background processing in Android apps. Question 10. What is the purpose of the content provider in Android? Answer. Content provider is used to manage access to a structured set of data, typically stored in a SQLite database, and make it accessible to other applications. It provides a standard interface for querying, inserting, updating, and deleting data, enforcing data security and encapsulation. Content providers are often used in conjunction with Content Resolver to access and manipulate data across different applications in Android. That's all for today's video. Please like the video and hit the subscribe button to get notified about next part of this video. I will upload it soon. Thanks for watching.